What's up everybody, it is I, Hero Vange, and welcome to my Nightmare Cup Meta Simplified video. We're gonna make this really easy for you to understand, okay? So let's get right into it. So, typings. Psychic, fighting, and dark. Psychic beats fighting. Fighting beats dark. Dark beats psychic. Now just to add to your knowledge a little bit more, fighting is the only one that doesn't resist itself. So, psychic resists psychic. Dark resists dark. Fighting, however, does not resist fighting. It's neutral. So now, let's move on to the Pokemon. And I'm pretty proud of what I was able to, to put up here. Alright, the moment that the Nightmare Cup was announced, I started going beyond Omega level nerd over this stuff. Okay, I started running simulations. I started studying. I started basically just geeking out. And so, I was able to narrow it down to something like three Pokemon per type, but not really because there's these two utilities here. But yeah, these Pokemon are the ones that really stood out to me. They have an advantage over Pokemon of the same type, and that's why they're displayed here. That's why we're gonna talk about them. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be the meta, right? Because that's gonna evolve as the month goes on, and as people find out more things, and as, you know, Niantic updates the game. But I hope that listening to me describe what I found out about these Pokemon and what their advantage is over the other choices, right? Because there's so many, um, will open up ideas for you. Now, the first Pokemon that we're gonna talk about is this evil looking Vortex with the green balls all around his face, that sick, evil smile on his face. The reason why he's so happy is because he knows. He knows that the Nightmare Cup is his cup. He is the Nightmare in the Nightmare Cup. Because he has the dark ghost typing, he resists most everything, almost, almost everything in the cup. His only weakness is fairy. There's no fairy fast move yet in the game, right? There's very, very few choices uh, for fairy charge attacks in the meta. And, you know, bringing those Pokemon is also problematic. Spiritomb, double resists psychic, resists fighting, and dark is neutral to him. So, you know, you can't really hit him with anything. Also, another important resistance is that he's resistant to poison. That's important for some dark type Pokemon uh, that, you know, might, might be meta. We'll see. Okay, so let's make this really simple. The Psychics, he's got that. Done. Done deal. The Fighters, depending on shielding, quite complex, right? Can beat Spiritomb. Okay, can still beat Spiritomb. So, you know, there is a light at the end of the dark tunnel. But here's the thing. They come out looking really, really beat up. Like, shield's gone. Single digit on the HP, so it's not a good look on them. I don't think that that's the best use for the fighters. I don't think you should sick the fighters on Spiritomb. But if you had, you know, no chance, just know that you got that. Depending on shielding, it's a, quite complex. Now, here's the scary thing, though. If you're fighting him with a fighter and he gets the buff from Ominous Wind. <laughs> oh my god, it's over. Okay, he takes that matchup then. Plus, he's gonna be that much more difficult to deal with and he's already very difficult to deal with. Now, what is the best way to slay Spiritomb? I feel like the best way is with a fellow dark type. Okay, so these guys, these are the people in the red. Now, the reason why the dark types kill Spiritomb much better than the fighters is because they throw neutral damage back at him instead of resisted, right? Except for Volirath. But the thing is, Power Up Punch in general is resisted by Spiritomb, so, you know, that's not good. Except for this guy. This guy, he's just bulky, right? He's just bulky. He's got poison in this cup, so, you know, resisted, but he's bulky. And so, the dark types actually come out on top with a decent amount left. He's very difficult to deal with. Spiritomb, the nightmare of the Nightmare Cup. Now, the next Pokemon that we're talking about is Murkrow. Murkrow, not Honchkrow. Murkrow is better. I checked. Like the, He's better. He has better overall matchups. The thing about Murkrow, the thing that sets him apart compared to the other dark types is he can actually beat a lot of the fighters. Now here's the thing, if you run a lot of simulations, like a lot of simulations with Murkrow versus fighters, you're gonna find out 
that he simultaneous KOs with so many of them. So many of them with shields, of course, right? And so, PvP IVs are gonna be very important because he kills most of them with fast attack. So, yeah, you need a good PvP IV, Murkrow. The perfect one is a 7 15 15. Memorize it, okay? 7 15 15. Okay, so Murkrow is gonna come out on top of the other dark types because he can actually handle the threat. Now he's got the psychics, except for Zatu. The reason why is because it's kind of like a bigger bird versus a smaller bird type of thing, you know? This guy is a bigger bird <laughs> compared to Murkrow. He can't handle it. It's, it's nothing about like psychic dark type of thing. It's really big bird versus small bird. Now here's another awesome thing about Murkrow. Murkrow has Spiritomb. We just talked about that like a couple of... You know, right? Remember? Right? Okay. Murkrow also has Shift Tree. And so yeah. Keep an eye out. 7, 15, 15, okay? Okay. Now with Shift Tree, he's really easy to explain. He's a charge farmer, okay? The matchups in green, plus there's there's more, right? The matchups in green, you can charge farm. Lucario is still pretty good. Pretty good, okay? What does he have over the other fighters? Well, he's steel. And because he's steel, he's got a lot of resistances. One of which is Murkrow. He resists flying type attack, so you know, he's got that matchup, it's all good. If you're gonna sick a fighter on Murkrow, let it be uh, the steel fighter, okay? But, because he's steel, the psychic types don't deal super effective damage on him. They actually deal neutral. Is he gonna kill the psychic types then? Maybe, with a shadow ball. So that's a maybe, but generally, no. <laughs> but he has that, right? So he's got the resistances. He's got Shadow Ball. Now, the problem with him is he gets bullied by the other fighters. But, you know, he does have those outside matches. Right, 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 right. Polyrath with the Legacy Mudshot is going to be a power up punch machine gun. It's just gonna go and go and go and go. It's the fastest power up punch in the metagame right now. And so, yeah, definitely worth looking into. But here's the thing. If you have Mudshot, you're gonna lose against Murkrow. Okay, just, just know that, okay? Also, he's got Ice Punch, which is nice. He can hit Shift Tree, he can hit Murkrow, he can hit uh, Zatu for super effective, but are you gonna win? No, you're not gonna win those, but you still got that, you know? What about Bubble Polyrath? I would say not as good, not as good, not as fast as, you know, Mudshot, but you do have a better, a closer matchup with Murkrow. It becomes an IV thing, but not as good. Now, Hitmonchan over here is the best standard fighter that means that he can do it better than all the other fighters okay he's your typical counter power up punch type of guy okay and because of that he can actually bully most of the other fighters actually all of the fighters okay he's got that for the elemental punch i suggest that you pick up ice punch because you can hit the grass you can hit the flying okay why not thunder punch the water types are also dark type and so you know just the regular fighting type attacks are gonna be good why not fire you can hit shift tree sure but ice punch does it as well plus the birds now moving on to galade who's also another very easy to explain pokemon the reason why he's there the reason why he's a cut above of the other psychic types is because he's half fighting because he's half fighting dark types you know are not super effective against him if they're, they're neutral right and so you kind of delay your death you still lose but you know you might get that time to swap or i don't know right but he does what a psychic type does confusion that's what he does that's what psychic types do confusion 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 we basically blaze through those other pokemon because there's not a lot to talk about with them they have like one or two advantages over the other pokemon of their same type but zatu here zatu rising rising way above compared to the other psychic types why one he has double resistance to fighting. Not just the single resist, but the double resist. So you might be able to charge farm, right? That's that's something that I, I will definitely test out. Now, the second thing that Zatu has over the other psychic types is that it has a way better, way better move set compared to the others, okay? What do I mean? With the bird type attacks, you still have the same coverage. You still have the fighters. You still got that. Same, right? You don't deal as much damage as Confusion, but you still got that. With the resistance, it's all good. Okay, but 
since you now know that Psychic resists Psychic, the confusion users are now your prey, okay? Because you hit them for neutral with, with the bird type attacks. Plus, you have ominous wind and ominous wind outspeeds Shadow Ball. So, you know, in a shielding situation, you're gonna lick them with the ghost attack faster than they can do things to you, which is fantastic. Now, the third thing that Zatu has over the other psychic types is it kills Murkrow. It kills Shift Tree, okay? And let's talk about this matchup right here because this one's a little bit more complex. Because Zatu has Ominous Wind, you're going to burn both shields on Spirit Tomb and only burn one on yourself because you're gonna die, right? Before he can get off the second Shadow Ball on Spirit Tomb. And if he doesn't shield that second Ominous Wind, then you kill him. Moving on to Hypno, what does he have? He is the best default Psychic, like Hitmonchan is the best default fighter, okay? So yeah, what do, what do Psychics do? Uh, confusion? Uh, confusion? <laughs> That's what they do basically, so yeah, he's the bulkiest out of all of them. Hypno also has Shadow Balls, right? But it's Legacy, if you don't have that, it's okay, it's okay. You still have Gardevoir. Gardevoir, I hope I pronounced that right, okay? If I didn't pronounce that right, please don't chew me up in the comments. But yeah, Gardevoir has um, Shadow Ball as well and Confusion, just like <laughs> all the other Psychic types. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, I don't think you can run her with Gallade. So yeah, if it's between her and Gallade, if you don't have a Hypno, maybe run Gardevoir, right? Because Gardevoir, since she's part fairy, is also not weak to dark types. It's neutral, right? You're still gonna lose though, but... And also, if you have Mr. Mime, he's also part fairy. He also has confusion and shadow balls. So, you know, there's a lot of options. You don't have to go for the legacy if you don't have it. You know, funny thing though, even though Psychic is linked to the mind, it's kind of like the most mindless gameplay there is in all of Pokemon Go PvP. It's just like confusion, confusion, confusion. Is my shadow ball done yet? Moving on to the utilities. This guy is for Acid Spray. Acid Spray is a fantastic move with Poison Jab. You can actually charge it up pretty quickly, okay? So Acid Spray away and enjoy. He does the job of a Dark type as well, all right? And so, the last Pokemon is Raichu. Chocolate Raichu, Chokachu, okay? What's up with him? Well, other than being delightfully brown, okay? He kills things that fly. He kills things in the water. Okay, with electricity. Plus, for all the neutral matchups, he's got this weird mind game. And this is something that I like about him, okay? He's got this weird mind game. With Spark, you actually charge up pretty fast, right? And then you have Thunder Punch, okay? And Wild Charge. Which one is it? Which one is it? Is it, is it are you gonna shield? Or nah? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can take a screenshot right here. Remember to leave a like, comment down below what do you think of my meta simplified guide? Do you think it's it's pretty good, accurate, or do you think I missed out on something? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet, ding that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!